Hello everyone, welcome to Real Wicked Talk. I'm Jay Zodden. Um, first of all, I'm going to keep this video as short as I can, and the reason for that is because uh, my phone storage space is kind of low and it's probably going to cut me off at about 7.17 and end the video. <laughs> that sucks. Um, okay, so, I'm making this video because I've noticed a lot of confusion um, online once again about this time concerning the Wicked Reed. Um, the harm none, do as you will. Um, some people seem to take this as an absolute. Um, it's not an absolute, it's a guideline. It's telling you to be a good person, it's telling you to be responsible about your choices. It's not saying that if someone is attacking you or your family and, and they're in danger that you cannot defend them. Uh, in fact, you have a responsibility to do that and protect them. After all, if you let them get harmed, Think about that, that's indirectly causing harm also, isn't it? And something you would really, really, really regret, and you never want to do things that you're really going to regret like that. Um, you want to have some honor, and so that's definitely not some kind of absolute. It doesn't mean if you uh, are walking down the street, you actually accidentally step on an ant that, um, you know, <laughs> that that would be like uh, in violation of the read and you would be in some kind of trouble or some silly thing like that, that, that again is absurd. Um, in fact, when it comes to defense magically, um, there are many things you can master. Uh, karma spells, mirror spells, uh, you can actually use a mirror spell and just put it up, um, someone's sending you the negative energy, it just gets mirrored right back to them, it's deflected off of you. You don't have to expend any type, type of negative energy yourself. Um, and I think that's rather brilliant myself because it's like um, it's like grabbing someone's hand and it's like why are you hitting yourself? Stop hitting yourself, right? It's kind of fun actually. Uh, if you can watch the results, when you get to see the results of those, sometimes it can be a lot of fun. I like to pop some popcorn myself and just kind of sit back and watch the show. Um, but uh, when you talk about these things. It's like, it's real simple, um, and again, I'm saving time and trying to shorten this and condense it a little bit, but uh, you think back to ancient Egypt when um, you have the uh, judgment scene, you've got uh, the scales of Mott, you've got Anubis there um, leading the, the deceased super chamber, you've got Osiris, um, and, and they're weighing the heart on the scale, and think about that, why are they weighing the heart, okay? It's because in the afterlife, um, when you're being judged, so to speak, on what you did in your last lifetime, uh, that's what's really important is that you have a good heart. So when you, so when you see the wicked read, just rem just remember it means be a good person. Uh, really, I mean you should be a good person anyway. You shouldn't really need a guideline to tell you that. Uh, it should already be inside of you, and you should be doing it for the right reasons because. It's who you are, uh, you know. You shouldn't always, I mean, necessarily do things just because someone tells you it's the right thing to do. You have to feel in your heart that it's the right thing to do. Um, pretty much, I was going to talk briefly about um, some people online who might have the wrong impression, and both, you know, wicked and non-wicked, who might think that it's actually more like the extreme that you can't, you know, you're just a wussy that's never going to fight back if you're wicked or something like that. And that, I can I can assure you that's not the case. Um, you see some people prou kind of proudly boasting that they're they're witches, but they're not, but they don't follow the breed. And you know that that confuses me because I don't really know what that means. I don't know if that means uh, they're just not interested in religion, which is fine. Uh, they think they don't need a guideline. Okay, whatever. Um, or they. They think that um, it's going to restrict them from defending themselves, which is not, not the case at all, like we just talked about. Or if it means something like they just want to do nasty things to people and have the right to do that, and they don't, they don't think anything bad is ever going to happen to them, which, you know, and I'm not one to preach to people and say, yeah, you must believe in karma, obviously, because, I mean, you know, I'm not a Christian, right? <laughs> I'm not opening up a church and uh, insisting that everybody convert to my way of thinking, but um, I can I can pretty much assure you that you know, um, yeah, bad things do tend to happen to you. It's it's cause and effect. 
when when you send bad things out there, do nasty things. Um, nasty things will eventually come back around to you, and that's just the bottom line. If you don't believe it, that's fine. Uh, but I can tell you from my experience that uh, every single time I've done a karma saw on someone, uh, it has worked and worked to perfection. Um, yeah, actually, they have really screwed themselves over by, by being nasty people. All right. So I'm at about 5.20, 5.30 right now. Um, I guess I'll wrap this up. So to wrap it up, uh, be a good person. Be responsible. Don't worry about every single little thing. Don't worry if you step on an ant um, on the sidewalk, whatever, right? I mean, don't worry if you got a job and someone else needed a job too. I mean, that, that kind of stuff is just basic everyday mundane stuff. Um, you just got to hope. You know, send some positive energy to the other person, I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, but you can't worry about every single little thing. You just have to be responsible uh, with your thinking, with your magic, with your actions, and be a good person. And that's literally all that really means. All right? And I'm James Otten. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hopefully I can make this YouTube a major, major ga gathering place for Wiccans and maybe some other pagans who would like to come in as well. And uh, we we can give ourselves a form to make our voices heard. All right, and to all of you, blessed be, and peace out. I'll see you on the next video.